Hello everybody. Well, we're into February now and it's time to start off those seeds. Um, I've got a, a, a plan of the seed starts and where they're going to go on the plot. The plot plan needs to be changed because it's not actually incorporating where we've got the new um, polytunnel that's going to go. But I'll just show you. It's one that we did a few months ago. So I'll just show you that. Okay. Now that's up in the tiki shed. Um, we've got the actual layouts of all the beds there on the right hand side and then the beds, sorry the um, the planting plan for all the beds on the right hand side. We've got the um, the plot diagram on the left hand side there. But uh, as you can see from the um, from the seed chart on the right we're into February now so it's time to get those seeds off and running. However, as you can see there, it's still pretty cold and it's going to be cold for the next couple of months. So we're up to six degrees though, it's midday now um, here in Eden, the northwest of England. It's six degrees there, so that's actually still pretty cold. And the seeds will only really, should really, start to germinate when it's, if you can get them above about 12 degrees. So, Okay, so we're going to make some cold frames. I've got the timber behind me. Um, I'll probably just do one today, just to show you what I mean by that. But I've got a bit, of, I've got a bit of clearing up to do inside the polytunnel um, to make space for these cold frames. So let's crack on with that. Yeah, look at the state of it in here. An absolute pigsty. All right, so first job will be moving some of these plants out, put them in the in the lady farmer's greenhouse, out of the way clear this space off get some room I mean it's a right tip isn't it at the moment so I'm gonna have to shift all of this crap and um, make space for the cold frames all right boys and girls right let me crack on so secret Steve the allotment ninja has been clearing out some of his stuff and he's given us that rack there it's quite nice isn't it um, that's just a temporary home really for the cabbages and the well i'll put the uh purple sprouting broccoli down here one's under there i'm gonna have to sort something out so they can get more light than that but for, for the seed starts that wouldn't be too bad i don't think you know get a few seed starts on there i've had to strap it on you can probably see through there potentially maybe yeah hopefully you can see that I've had to strap that on with a couple of um, zip ties just to get it uh, get it more stable. It was a bit winky wonky. I've put that underneath the to sort of balance it out and get it straighter. And it's strapped on at the back because the last thing I want is that falling over and destroying everything, including shattering the glass. And uh, anyway, so I put another another set of the plants down there in the tray it's got a couple of spur trays but they're going to be used then when i do me um my cold frame so yeah that's cleared off some bench space in uh, tiki tunnel one uh for me for me to actually build the build the cold frames so i'm going to crack on with that i'll get the timber up okay so these watering trays a 15 inches by 39 inches and the timber that I got is just and I mean just the right size so that you can get the lengths and the widths to actually create your box all I've done with that is it was uh, one meter so it's one meter long it's a little bit longer than the trays but width wise the, the remaining um, Timber. I think these are 1.8 1.8 meters so then you're left with uh, 80 centimeters you've got to account of course for these butt joints because you're not going to get the because you're going to lose some of the uh, width when you affix these I needed the length to be right and uh, to be honest with you it's just the right size so I, ma I measured them and it's just the right size to get those in and get them flat those trays basically so i'm going to put another uh, layer on so that these that these are just just short of four inches deep 
uh, the actual timbers. So I'm going to get another level on that. I'm going to be stuck now though because the, 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 the perspex that I've got is all scratched up. It was like second hand perspex sheet that I was going to do the roof with. So I'm going to have to get some more of that twin wall polycarbonate. Four millimeter twin wall polycarbonate that I used for uh, for these. <laughs> I'm going to need some more of that anyway, but I'm going to um, I'm going to have to order some, and I think they're about three pound fifty per sheet. But we'll see how we go with it. I'll just build the box now anyway. So we've got the box built at least. All right, so there you have it. That's the perspex Steve gave us. Secret Steve. He's just been down actually. Secret Steve. Uh, so we've got the perspex there. I've got another sheet of that perspex that obviously it, I'm gonna have to bring some sort of like window cleaner down And clean it all off properly. So it's a bit more see-through because it's been stood outside for about two years that um, But I, all I've done is basically done some pilot drills through this is two by one done some pilot drills through um, And fix that on top of it As the lifting window And all you do is you lift it like that let me just get me a little uh, prop. Put me a little prop in. Thusly, right? So that prop's got a, a notch there and a notch there. So, uh, just hang on a second, yeah. All that does is prop it up. You put your plants in. These are the ones that, um, that Mick started on the 31st of the 12th. Sorry, the 31st of the 1st. 21 and we've got um we've got the sun gold in there sun gold tomatoes so they're they're through now and we've got the onions the big onions the the global exhibition onions at the back but i'm going to be filling that up i'm going to be putting the onions uh the onion sets in there and maybe even be baby tomato my, my, my little potatoes my new potatoes i'll be starting those off in little pots just to get them established as plants, but I think it's all right. I think it's got a couple of hinges on the back, a couple of hinges, and uh, yeah, that just drops down on top, and hopefully gives them a little bit more protection. So we'll see how they get on. Um, as long as we can keep them above above freezing in here today at the moment inside the tunnel and during the daytime, even because it's six degrees outside, it's like eleven or twelve degrees in here. So, um, yeah, hopefully they'll be okay. They'll do okay. Right. There it is. I want a little cold frame inside the, uh, the cheeky tunnel. Still got to tidy up, obviously, because I'm a dirty, filthy pig. But, um, yeah. Okay, guys. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, please don't forget to hit that bell notification button so you don't miss another exciting episode from Eden down on the little farmer's farm with me, Guru Mafinda. I'm off to get some dinner now. Catch you later, boys and girls. If I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. And remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.